Hi guys. Well, I've had a somewhat busy day. I haven't really done a lot. Well, I haven't done anything around the flat. <coughs> because uh, it was payday, so I've been out, paid bills, got a few groceries, blah de blah blah, as you do. Uh, then I went to Mum's this afternoon, after we spent, I don't know, a couple of hours or so, just uh, having a wander around the charity shops in town and whatnot. <coughs> Not that we actually found anything interesting. Um, Yeah, I'm a star dating for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, didn't really do a lot of mums. Um, apart from, well, we took some of the car boot stuff over. Cause, uh, well, mum wanted to do a car boot tomorrow, but uh, in past experience, Fridays has never been the best day. So, um, weather permitting, I've talked her into going Saturday. Um, uh, pardon me. I've just had a snack and a drink of cola and taken me pill, so I'm a bit windy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hopefully, <coughs> got frog in my throat as well now. Yeah, hopefully, we'll be doing a. Um, Car booty on Saturday. Just getting, a, that's better. just getting a light in the position. Um, Mum has agreed she'll help me clean kitchen and bathroom, and all I've got to do is go around and basically dust and well, I can do the vacuuming and. I'm getting there with the cluster in here, and I've got rid of the scooter. Well, it's magic, you see. I've turned the scooter into three bike frames. <laughs> nah. Put the scooter up in the cupboard outside, because I'm probably not going to do anything with that yet. Not for a while. Um, but I've dragged these home today from Mum's. Um, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to do anything with this blue and yellow one. Albeit, I think if I clean the muck off the frame, it'll be a relatively good frame. But, uh, as you can probably tell, most of the parts are shit. <coughs> I don't even know what make it is. It's an, it's an Oscar. An Oscar Freestyle. I've never even heard of that brand. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. As far as I can tell, the cables are still all good. All the outers look okay. No, they don't look rusted. They don't look damaged or cracked or... Um, as you can see, it's got these cheap, shitty grip shifts on. I hate those. Um, see, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. It's only got front suspension, although it does look like a full suspension. A bit like a silver one I recently sold. That was a similar design. I'm just going to move this over here so we can get to the next. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. I actually think, yeah, it was. That was a chrome stem at one point. Not sure if I'm going to get that out of there. If I can't get that out, then I will just uh, take what few bits I can reuse off and scrap the frame. <coughs> them forks are a bit the fork shoulder down there is a bit too rusty to really leave them on there so I've got some better pairs downstairs that I could have thrown in there anyway next up I'll get it out I'll go and put it over here actually. so I won't stand back from it is this um, racing bike frame. It's an old Ferrari Mercury. Um, I've always wanted to uh, build my own hybrid cycle out of one of these racing frames, so um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, needs a clean. I don't think I'll bother repainting it or anything, because for a bike its age, Paintwork isn't too bad. There's the old nick 
in the paint. There's a fair few nicks there, but I'm not really that much of a fuss pot, so I've got some wheels I can find a crank for. I've got an idea of what sort of handlebars I want to put in it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go for front gears and rear gears yet, or just rear gears. It depends what sort of crank I decide to put on it. But, uh, yeah. I've got some uh, mud guards I can throw on it as well. <coughs> I've got some brake calipers, which I think are in a bag down there. Aluminium ones, if they're um, long enough to reach the wheels, because you do get different lengths of um, the old style calipers. But uh, failing that, I'm sure I'll find a pair from somewhere. Um, I do actually like the colour of this frame as well. I've got another racing bike. Yeah, it's a Falcon frame. At Mum's, but I think I'm going to ditch it. So I can't be bothered with it, so I'll put that back on the scrap pile. Because, yeah. It's in a far worse state than this, and I probably wouldn't use it. Because originally I was going to use the other frame and spray it up and whatnot, but uh, this one doesn't really need it. He's got a nice red one there, but um, all this bit in here, where the rear brake and mud guards all go on to, mount to, is all snapped off the frame, so it's not really a usable frame unless you want to adjust the front brake on the bike. Uh, then you could use the frame. It would have been a perfectly usable frame, but I like to have two. Uh, anyway, <coughs> we've got this one. It's a Falcon ladies bike. Yet yeah, again, you know, the seat post is rusty. Chain needs um, <coughs> a good oil. The dryer probably needs a clean out. But the brake cables are fine. The gear cables are fine. And uh, the bottom bracket does need some new bearings. If, if I get the bottom bracket off. Which um, I need the tool for. <coughs> um, so I'm sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place at the minute. Because uh, I need to fix this bike up for a bit of cash. But I don't have the tool to fix the bloody bike. I don't have the cash to get it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like a catch-22 there. Um, whereas with this one, if I could do that one, and I could fog it off for a bit of cash, and get that out of the way, but that needs more work doing to it than this. Well, I suppose they're actually... No, that one does need the more work done to it, because I've got to replace all the um, brakes there. They're so rusty, there's no point leaving them on. I could leave the forks on, actually. But then that stem is shit anyway, so I've got to change the stem and the handlebar, so... That's if I can get the grip shifts off. <coughs> so I think they've been stored in a barn. But yeah, this frame is actually in pretty good nick. It's full of dust and dirt, but... The frame itself is in good nick, so I'm hoping... I can get that bottom bracket off. I don't want to use the old hammer technique to get the crank off because these are plastic covered cranks and if I do that I'm going to split all the plastic and I'll end up with having to replace the crank um, but like I said do I go and buy the tool with what little change I've got left to fix this I might actually want to see if that bottom bracket cut will undo before I do that though. Because I don't really want to go and spend that sort of cash on a crank remover only to find that the bottom bracket won't undo thus writing off the frame. Which will be a shame because that is it's not my sort of colour but the actual frame itself is in good nick. The brakes are all in good nick but they're not that rusty. Reflector brackets are right. It's just that these um, black handlebars and stem have done the usual sort of fading and rusting. Um, so I could find something to replace those. Or I could just paint them over with some black paint or whichever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll leave the bar cage on it. I don't need that. Should have a better seat post somewhere. Uh, 
As far as I know, all the brakes work. They haven't been disconnected, so, uh... No. Rear brake is doing the usual stick on, if you watch it. So pull the brake on, let go of it. There's the other hand, I've let go of it, and it hasn't retracted. <laughs> How about the front? I usually find the fronts don't stick, it's always the rear, but... I would say that's probably due to the fact that rear brakes have a longer out of cable, so that's more area for um, the inner cable to get snagged on or rusted into, etc. Because uh, the number of racing bikes Biggles has had in the rear brake has always been completely seized. And the same with me, I've had racing bikes in like that. But not so much on a mountain bike like this where you have the um, gaps in the cables such as this one. <laughs> it doesn't want pull either. I'm actually surprised, oh no. I was going to say I'm surprised these haven't rusted, but that's probably because they're aluminium, dumbass. <laughs> I'm surprised they are aluminium, actually. I'm surprised they didn't put steel ones in, because you can get steel of those. I think they're aluminium anyway. Yeah, they're aluminium. Well, that's the other thing I'm going to have to hope that hasn't seized in as well as that seat post. Uh, the yellows, actually I'm not sure if the yellow has faded or if it's meant to be that shade. But, um, you know, Mum was like, what on earth are you going to do with that? Well, if you're actually willing to put a bit of effort into something, even an old heap like this can be turned into a decent bike again. And like I said, I just enjoy doing them, so. And these were just going to end up on the scrap pile anyway, so I thought, yeah, their frames are half decent enough, I can salvage those. I'm not sure about the brake pads yet. I haven't really checked. Nemo's chasing my speaker wall. <laughs> well, that's a definite one if I can get the bottom bracket off. I've got the proper tool for the lock ring. But, uh, oh, I might get a spanner in there actually. It is. Let's see if I can crank that round. I've got some bearings I can throw in there. Yeah, they're second-hand ones, but they're taken from good bottom brackets, and they'll do just to throw in there. Actually, I may have some fairly new ones kicking around somewhere in the pot. Uh, I think they're all right on this one. Yep, yeah, that's all right. That move all right. I haven't seized. Um, Biggles took the wheels because he wanted the um, tyres on them. But... Uh, I was going to pinch the wheels back when he'd got the tyres off, but I'm not sure I really want them. Because the, um, the wheel hubs had rusted, because they're steel hubs. And uh, when you're doing a bike up, you really want it to look as clean as possible. And uh, I don't really like using wheels like that. Actually, I don't mind a rusty hub. It's rusty spokes, to me, look worse. But that's just me, in my personal opinion. Uh, that front reflector is going to have to be changed because that's all faded. Uh, see, Biggles has got a couple of other ladies' bikes there that I could actually half inch the frames and uh, build up myself in the hybrids or something. So I've got plenty of dralias like that for this style of uh, drop out. I've got loads in there. And. Uh, I think even some of the old three speeds have dropouts like that, so or racing bikes do, and he's got a racing bike frame down there, a ladies one. I may actually next time I go over to Mum's I'll have a look. Because I'm not fussed about the parts because I can soon come across parts and whatnot. But uh, if I can salvage good frames, you know, they would make good future projects. Because as I've said many times before, Biggles just gets bikes like that in to um, strip down for parts and put the parts on eBay. Because a lot of the time for an old vintage or classic, you know, sort of 1980s and older bike, they're worth more being broken for parts than they are as a whole bike. And uh, you can't really be bothered to um, do them anymore. He used to, when Mum first moved into the house, you know, he used to do up mountain bikes and sell them, but the way he see it, it's a lot of work 
fixing up a mountain bike, even one with a good frame like that, and only getting 30, maybe 40 quid out of push for some of them, depending on the brand. I mean, that's a Falcon, which um, isn't a bad brand, which is why I rescued the bike. You know, like I said, I've already got plenty of wheels, so I don't need wheels at the minute. I did bring some wheels back with me. Uh, I can access my tools in the shed. I'm actually half tempted to wait, actually, and uh, see what um, we can make at the car boot, because we've got loads of stuff. Mum didn't take it all today, but I may have to dig through myself in the boxes and actually box up some st a box of gear that I might think will um, sell. We're going to take those. As, um, I did say to Mum, I said, well, I haven't really got a lot to sell, so I doubt I'll make a lot. And Mum turned around and said, well, I wasn't actually talking about you, because I was saying how short on cash I am at the minute. Uh, bills are a pain in the ass. Bills should be illegal. <laughs> yeah, right, that'll never happen. Anyway. Um, oh, I just realised I've got a decent pair of grip shifts up here. Or are they, are they a pair? No, of course they're not. Well, actually, I've got a replacement one if I need one. Which is... Is it identical? No, it's got the same dot pattern, but it is... It's similar. What about this one? Oh, it's a closer match to these ones, and this one. but I haven't got the dots. Oh well. I know I've got some cheapy style gear shifters down in my box in the shed if I need any. Because sometimes the little... I'll show you on these ones. To get these off, they're only held on to the hat. Oh, they only are um, fixed to the handlebar with one bolt, which is in there. It's a small Allen key bolt screw that just basically presses against the handlebar and locks it in place but uh, sometimes especially on these cheaper ones they can rust and lock in place and you just when you try to undo them you'll either chew up the allen key screw itself or bend your allen key or break your allen key I've done it several times and half the time I end up just using a hammer to smash the hell out of the grip shift so I'm left with the metal ring and use a pair of pliers to undo it. Um, but like I said, it doesn't matter if I've got two on these. Actually, looking at that one, I've got to change the handlebar. I can do that easily. That one might be a bit of a bug if you look at the difference. That one's got rusty. That one isn't. But I've actually noticed on bikes it doesn't make a diff make the line a bit of notice. What? I'll try that again. I've noticed with a lot of bikes, including vintage ones, it doesn't really matter if the bolt is rusty or not. Because I've seen bolts that look like they won't come undone and be a complete pain in the ass to undo. And they come apart quite easily and undo pretty easily. And then you'll get other rusty bolts that will just lock together and you can't undo them. And you end up having to take a hacksaw to them. Which is why I keep hacksaws handy, because uh, they're good for cutting off rusty bolts. But, uh, hopefully that'll come off, because I, well, I haven't got a handlebar of that style, so I may just um, coat that with some black paint, just to tidy it up, because I'll show you some good stuff that is good, um, fairly, well, I was going to say fairly cheap, it's not for the size of the tin, but because I've got a load here, I'll use it. It's this little model paint stuff. Put a couple of coats of that on, that'll just quickly tidy them up. I ain't gonna bother with this mountain bike one. I'll just take that handlebar out and take that stem out and replace it. Probably along with the forks and scrap those. Um, oh, I did think of one thing I'm gonna take. That um, mountain bike frame on my trailer. I've decided I'll take that to the car boot. Um, it's an aluminium frame and it's a jump bike frame. Um, there's a bleeding lock stuck around it, so I'm going to have to cut that off before I take it. I'll do that tomorrow. But um, I've seen people take bike frames to car boots before and they sell, so 
even if I get a fiver or something for it, it's still something in my pocket, so I'll take that. But apart from that, I don't really think I've got anything of any value. I might try the other Mega Drive console I've got, see if I can get a fiver for it. It is tested, it does work, as I've said before, I just don't have the cables for it. But uh, if we're going to do a car boot, I might as well try it on the car boot first. Before uh, sticking it on eBay. Uh, but I'm looking around here and I can't really see anything. Well, there is lots of things of value. I mean, I've got shitloads of Lego, but uh, that's not for sale. I would actually soon rather sell all my consoles and my PCs than that Lego. <coughs> well, all my PCs apart from them two. <laughs> if I really got stuck and I had to sell some things, that is what would be sold first. Uh, I've pa oh, I've paid for the um, computer desk, so I've just got to get that over here. But uh, I'm going to have to call my little brother for that, I think. Because there's no way I'm going to get that up the stairs on my own. So just if you if I'm going over to Mum's either Saturday or Sunday, if my brother's home, and I doubt he will be Saturday because he'll be over at Dad's. But if you, if I go over Sunday and my brother's there Sunday, I'll um, see if you if I can collar him <coughs> when Mum brings me home, and uh, we'll put that desk in the car and bring that with me. And then I'd spend Monday uh, sorting this out. But I would like to get everything like that done before my friend from France comes over. Because uh, I don't really want to be doing too much while he's here, you know, because he's here to be on holiday, not to, you know. I'll just, if I was doing other things like my normal jobs and other tasks and things, I'd feel like I was being rude and antisocial. Probably not. Um, and I think I don't think it would actually bother him because he would just sit here on his laptop or something, chilling, which is which would probably um, be okay with him. But still, you know, I I don't want to seem antisocial. I know what people are thinking, but you've got Asperger's, you're antisocial anyway. No, not with people I know anyway. <laughs> that is a it's a stereotype that is sort of half true with people with Asperger's syndrome. Um, if I'm around people I know and I'm comfortable with, then no, I'm not antisocial. Uh, it's new people. It's hard to explain really. I may do a video one day trying to explain it, but uh, it is... Well, actually I could do that tonight. I need to make a list of videos to put on YouTube, don't I? Because... Uh, that is the one thing I definitely do not want to do while my uh, buddy is here. And that's it, uh, making videos all the time, at, you know, one every day like I've been doing. Because that would be a good excuse for me to have a little break as well. And by the end of it I'll have plenty to talk about, so the video could be like two hours long. <laughs> um... Yeah, I've got a few things I need to take out to Mum's as well, other than the car boot stuff. I've got a tailboard for a trailer. That's got to go out to Mum's. My stepdad's going to use that. Uh, I'm sure there's a few other things I've got to take out. Yeah, I've got a busy day tomorrow anyway, haven't I? I'll go down into the shed and go through all those boxes of crap and... Uh, um, oh, I'm going to see if Mum wants me to donate the box of books to charity. As uh, we found in the past that books don't really sell at car boots. DVDs and CDs seem to be quite an interest, depending on what you got. But um, a lot of people do like to have a um, rifle through a box of CDs and DVDs, so we'll take those. They're over at Mum's ready. Uh, we've taken the electric rake aerator thingamabob, whatever the damn thing is, for your lawn. You just basically a roller with spikes on, and uh, you just walk it over your lawn. It's electric powered, <laughs> Black and Decker. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, we'll take that as some records we were going to take, and a few other knickknacks. Um, I know there's still knickknacks in there, but Mum didn't want to hang around too long because we had some fresh meat in the uh, car that we didn't want to leave in there in the sunlight for too long. So we just had a quick look, grabbed a few things, grabbed a bag of cuddly toys and whatnot. But uh, I'll have more time tomorrow, so I'm going to do that myself. Go through the boxes and I've got a tub up here that I could take down. That I can uh, put some knickknacks in. Knickknack paddy work, I'll probably take that one down. And I've got a broken handle that size side, but I don't know. Oh, I'll well, think a model there to make. Might sit and do that actually if I make some room up here on the table. Uh, oh, pardon me. I can't believe anyone was going to throw this out. Look at it. Even the wheels were okay in it. You know, apart from the handlebar and the stem. Um, for parts that need replacing. Well, apart from the bearings and the bottom bracket. You know, I can't see that this needs a lot doing to it. Um, I've got pair of wheels, like I said, I've bought the wheels back from Mums. I've still got loads of wheels in there. Um, but I've bought what I needed for um, basically these three projects. I needed a front wheel for that, so I've bought that out. So I've got a back wheel. Although it's an aluminium back wheel and the front wheel is steel, so I may actually bring a steel one back from Mums if I haven't got one in this cupboard up here. Well, that's going to be a project for the future. I'm not doing that yet. Although that would be extremely simple to do. Oh, both sides of the bottom, no. Both sides of the bottom bracket, eh? Or did he just take the one? No, he just took the one side. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off because I need to go and answer a call of nature and whatnot. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video.